is up everybody welcome back to mad dogs barbecue co i want to give a huge shout out to my wife yesterday she filmed a video for the channel uh, you're going to be seeing some more of her she's going to do some sides some desserts stuff like that so in today's video guess what time it is it's time for thanksgiving it's time to start getting prepared start thinking about what you're going to cook to impress your whole family i went out went to my local grocery store and i picked up this beautiful eight pound ham here so what we're going to do is we're going to dress this thing up a little bit put our own flair on it this is what i do almost every thanksgiving everybody loves it uh let's get into it and we'll get it on the smoker we're going to pack some extra smoke in this thing most of them you get are already pre-smoked um basically you just got to stick it in the oven and warm it up but who wants that we want to add some extra punch in here, some extra flavor, get everybody talking at the dinner table. So let's get going. I'm going to take some of my old yeller mustard-based barbecue sauce. Basically, I'm going to kind of add this as a binder, and it's going to add some uh, flavor on the outside and create some nice uh, bark on there. Um, so what we're going to do is just we'll get it all over here. Just kind of rub it in. You don't want a thick, heavy layer. Just go kind of rub it all in. And I know if you like impressing people like me with my food, let's go get a nice little layer here all over. I'll flip it. We've already got the sides. I just want to add some right to that big portion, that flat right there. I like my ham to have some bark on it. I don't know who doesn't like that. Put a little bit more on the top. All right, so we got our ham rubbed down with our old yellow mustard barbecue sauce there. Now what we'll do is I'm gonna take just a light coat, um, not too heavy. This is gonna add some nice color to the ham and also it's gonna help create that nice bark on there. Uh, you don't wanna go too heavy but let's just add some color and some nice bark texture on there. I want to get it all. And this ain't coming out fast. Um, might be kind of hard to tell on the video. Uh, I'm just kind of get it on there a little bit. What I'll do is I'm going to take my flipper. Just a little bit on that meat side. Just add some extra flavor in here. Let's go make a nice little bark on there. There we go. So we got that all done. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this on our Traeger and we're going to go, we're going to go to 250 until it hits about 140, 145. Now, like I said, this is already pre-cooked. Basically, they just want you to take it out of the package, stick it in the oven. But we're gonna add some extra flavor some extra smoke, uh, get a nice little bark built up on it, and then we're going to put a little bit of glaze over the top and finish this thing off right and get it good and shiny and uh, get ready to impress everybody on Thanksgiving sitting around the table. So let's go ahead and get this out to the Traeger, throw some smoke on it, and then we'll bring it back in and we'll give her a taste test. color on this ham. We are going to get ready to pull this thing. I'm going to get ready to glaze and then we're going to pull it, give it a slice. I know this thing's going to be good. Stay tuned. All right, guys. This thing's getting ready to come off. A beautiful build up there. Beautiful color. Oh, yeah get ready I'm gonna do a glaze on it and then we're gonna pull it off as soon as we get that glaze on there we're gonna give this like a test try
All right, guys, we just got our beautiful looking ham off the Traeger. Um, been going about two, two and a half hours. Um, got a beautiful uh, build up on it. Nice bark pieces on there. Beautiful color that rub helped set in this color. Um, I went with a uh, apple cinnamon glaze um, on here. Um, it's great. Um, our mustard sauce was our kind of binder, add some good flavor in there. What I'm going to do, I'm getting ready to cut this thing open and let's see what we did. Mm. Tender. Moist. I mean, just dripping out. Let's see if we can roll this thing over. I like to get a little good flat piece on there. It helps it kind of stand up a little bit. All that moisture coming out of there. Get some good pieces on the board here. All that juice from this ham. This ain't no driving. Some good pieces off like that. Let me just rest it back. I like this piece right here. You've got some of that good skin on there. It's barked up. I don't know if anybody can see this. Let's put it over here on the other camera. I mean, just look how juicy this is. Sitting on the cutting board like that. Flip her over here. Pull us off another piece. Right through with the knife. Good pieces. I mean, this thing is just oozing. Just, mm. Boy, that looks so good. If you could smell it, you'd want some. I like this bite right here. Let's get in and get us a piece. Mm. That right there is so flavorful from the rub to the mustard barbecue sauce or old yeller. I mean, it's just get in here and get us a little bit of this juice. And then that apple cinnamon glaze at the end. This is, I mean, absolutely delicious. Mmm. I'll tell you what, that's doggone good right there. Makes me want to make some biscuits and throw it on a biscuit. Woo! Hmm. Been a while since I've done a ham, and I'm glad it's getting time. Look at that piece right there. That beautiful. Mmm. All them flavors work so well together. And then you hit it with that double smoke because they're already pre-smoked. Pretty much we're just, you know, warming it up and then we added our own flair to it. Guys, you're going to impress everybody with this one. Everybody's going to be talking. And that's how you do a ham right there. You get that old glaze that comes with it, throw that in the trash can, make your own, buy you a good bottle, doctor it up just like I did, and you're going to have the perfect holiday ham. Guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for more. Uh, we're going to have a lot more coming out. Um, getting prepared for Thanksgiving. Helping y'all get ideas. Like and subscribe really helps us out. And uh, helps us do what we love. And, and uh, just want to thank everybody for watching. And uh, stay tuned for more.